Hey everybody, CFA back with you. It is time once again for our favorite segment of this show. Something that we do each and every month. Something that many of you in this community help us with. Introducing Kids to Coins. Where we do what we can to help grow this numismatic coin collecting hobby that we love so much. Alright, like I said, a bunch of coin nerds out there help us achieve this goal each and every month. And we have put together enormous packages that go out as coin collecting starter kits for kids out there. Now I say coin collecting starter kits, but in reality, they're coin collections. <laughs> they are a very good start for anyone of any age. Alright, so what's happened is people send us in names, nominees, all the time to our email. They are the names of kids under the age of 18. Alright, we go through them very meticulously me and Mrs. CFA, and we select one recipient each month. Now, a bunch of you, like I said, have helped this month once again to make this package enormous, and I'll go ahead and read off their names here. Paula Bloom, Jeff Stanley Coins and Octane, Pitts Woodworks, Boyd's Coins, Rob Bartlett, Shady McGravy, Linda Wallace, Troy Seitz, Blockhead, Hoogie's Hobby Shop, Michael Kittle Rare Coins, Kickstar Coins and Comics, Thin Blue Diggers, and Chris W. All helped contribute in some form or fashion for this magnificent package that will go out to a kid for August of 2020. Alright, so in just a second here I will show you what this kid is going to receive. And then right after that I will show you who the recipient is. Alright, now along with, while I'm showing what the package is, scrolling down below will be the names of all these contributors for this month's package. I put links to their channel in the description of this video below. I encourage everyone to go check out what they got going on with their YouTube or whatever it may be, website, whatever it is. Uh, great, great people, great coin nerds, uh, diggers, treasure hunters, great people. Go see what they got going on. Uh, they've done a lot to help contribute to the kids. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at what this kid will be receiving. All right, everybody, let's take a look at what this fantastic community has done for the month of August. First off, we've got a big bag full of foreign coins. Foreign coins can be a ton of fun. I used to go through them with my kids when they were younger. Look at the different designs. Look at where they're from. Some of these are big, some of these are small. They're from all over the world. Just a ton of fun. There's always some really cool designs on there. All right, we've got a ton of coins here. I'm gonna bring up my scope here so I can kind of show, that one's not in the back, I can kind of show what we got going on because there's just too much cool stuff here. Let's see, I'm gonna do this. Oop, not like that though, just like that. And we've got a 1957D, that is in BU condition, just beautiful, beautiful scent. We've got a 1958 with no mint mark nickel, a little bit lower mintage, very cool. How about a 46S nickel? Another lower mintage. There's that S. Cool. Let's see here. We got a 57D. And this one is one I found and it's got a buy error. So between the B and the E in Liberty, there is a die chip. The buy error. Cool. We got a 53S nickel. Another lower mintage one. We've got a 1959. Look at that. That thing is gorgeous. Wow, great album filler right there. We've got, this one's in a little bag. That's a 1960D. Very, very nice. We've got a 58D. Man, some great, great starter coins for a collection. Here's a Lowell Quarter 2019 in BU condition. And here's a Denver Minted Lowell in BU condition, so we got two of them there, cool. 1960D nickel in just gorgeous condition. There's even partial step there, maybe it looks like. How about a steel scent? The only coin, kids, the only coin made by the US that is magnetic. 1943 Steely, I like those, those are always fun. All right, how about a one copper round, a one ounce copper round? And this is a Pteranodon, a flying dinosaur. Very cool. 
And how about a little silver? What do you think about a Merc dime? There's a 1945 Merc. Awesome. Let's see what else we got here. We got a 1960D nickel. Another beautiful specimen right there. That over there. How about a 73S proof nickel? Proof. You need a proof in your collection. Oh, look, there's my bald head. My bald head reflecting off that proof. How about a couple of V-nickels? These are a little worn, but still, you need some old nickels in there, too. 1899. Let's see what this one is. A 1906. Very cool. How about a 2019 D five-quarter set? All in BU. Got some a lot of great quarters there. How about what do we got here? Oh man, that's a gorgeous 1968. Just beautiful. Wow. Look at that. I love it. That is awesome. That right there. How about an entire roll of 2017 P? 2017 P, the only penny you'll find a P on so far. The only one, and they're worth one point in our weekly searches, or weekly coin roll hunts. All right, we've got some more cool stuff here. We, how about some notes to go along with your coins? How about a star note? All right, star notes are pretty cool. We love collecting them. It's a fun treasure hunt for the whole family. Every time you go to the store and look for change, you see right there in the end of serial number is a little star. That means it's a replacement note and they're harder to find. They're more rare than your regular notes. How about 1,000 peso note from Brazil? Brazil, very, very cool. Look at that. 1,000. Republica dos Estados Unidos do Brazil. Very cool. I like old notes and foreign notes. They're always kind of fun, just like the foreign currency or the foreign coins, right? Foreign currency can be fun as well. And here is one. This is Deutschmarks. Five Deutschmarks. They don't even make those anymore. They don't. That's a Deutschmark. That's from Germany. Deutsche Bundesbank. 1980. Look at that. German money. Brazilian money. Cool. Got it from all over the world. Okay, let's see here. What else we got? Oh, another foreign coin. I miss with the others. Kind of cool. 25 centimos. Let's see what we got on the back here. The Philippines. The Philippines. Very cool. All right. And how about a 1971 Ike? Ike dollars are a ton of fun. Very neat. A lot of people like collecting them. I think they're cool as well. Put that right there. Okay. What else do we have? We have... Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got to have a Linda Wallace necklace. This is a Kennedy half. Bicentennial Kennedy half with a cool chain on it here. That right there. There you go. 1976 Kennedy necklace. Awesome. Okay, how about... The last 20 years of the obsolete Lincoln Wheat Ear Penny, it says. 1939 through 1958. All of them in this little cool little holder here. Pretty neat. And then on the back, I don't want to tip it up too much. I think one of them is going to fall out. But uh, on the back, it's got some information about Lincoln and the wheat cents. And you got another 1943 there to go with the other one over here. So very, very cool little uh, set there. I like that. That's neat. All right, how about, I got a couple books here. How about a Jefferson Nickel Whitman folder? And this is brand new. And a lot of these in here were Jefferson Nickels that would fit beautifully in this little holder getting you started on a collection. I like that a lot. And how about a Lincoln Scent book that's almost full? It only needs like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, and it'll be full. That is cool. This goes from 1959 through uh, 1990. Awesome. Set that there. Okay, now, how about another book? How about a monster book? Look at the size of this thing. Making the Grade, 
Coin World's making the great comprehensive grading guide for U.S. coins. Now this is something, this is an awesome book. I don't even have this one in my collection. This was donated. This is magnificent. Um, this is something that a young kid is going to grow into. An older kid could already start getting into. But this is definitely something that as you grow your knowledge and you, your experience with coins, making the grade, learning the grade of coins uh, can definitely be a great thing along the way. So very, very cool book. Man, that is awesome. i got to get me one of those. All right. Also, we've got... How about a CFA magnet? That can go on your fridge, huh? What do you think of that? A couple CFA stickers we're throwing in. And I've even got a little cool little button we'll throw in, a little CFA button. I've got a couple more things here. We've got a jeweler's loop. you got to have a jeweler's loop to look for rare varieties and errors. And also, to check the dates on some of these, they're hard to see. And you're going to need it for this. Look for dates on this roll of pennies. You can coin roll hunt yourself. It came from one of our very favorite... Uh, credit unions here in town that we found some very cool stuff in our streams uh, in boxes from that place so also how about there was a couple proof coins in there but how about a proof set how about a proof set from the year 2000 the first year of this century you've got five quarters you've got all the other denominations look at that I love proof sets I think they're awesome beautiful look at that that is going in this package as well. I told you this was going to be an awesome package. I, I No fooling, friends. No fooling. Awesome, awesome package. I got one more thing to throw in there for this kid this month. And it's a CFA field guide. CFA field guide. You can find those on Amazon or you can win them on our show. If you want to go to Amazon to look for them, you just got to type in, keep checking that change, and boom, it'll pop up. There it is. So there is the package. Man, you've been seeing all those names scrolling down below. Great, great people that helped contribute this month. Uh, we are so excited for this. It, it, like I said, every month it's growing and growing and growing. It's just fantastic. So, you know what? I'm going to just shut up now. We're going to get to who the recipient for August 2020 is. All right. I told you it was an awesome package. Man, all right. Here we go. I am so excited here. Once again, I want to thank all those people that helped make that possible. Just fantastic. All right, I'm excited. We've got an email here that we selected. All right, this comes from Eric. It says, Logan, age six, from Pennsylvania. Logan has recently shown an interest in coins when he received some Ike dollars from the Tooth Fairy. That is a very generous Tooth Fairy. That is very cool. Uh, well, Eric and Logan, I think Logan sounds like a great recipient for the Kids and Coins package. So guess what? He is the August 2020 recipient. Congratulations! Congratulations! And thank you again, all the people who have contributed. This is fantastic. I'm hoping that we can get maybe a little video or some pics of uh, Logan as he receives his package and opens it up and, and we can all see the look on his face like so many others that over the last more than a year now have been doing this uh we've gotten some great pictures and videos back and we get to see the smiling faces and the excitement on these kids faces you know as they as they tear into this awesome package from all of you all right so thank you so much okay if you out there know a kid under the age of 18 that you would like to introduce the coins please send us their first name their age, the U.S. state they live in, and a little bit about why you would like to introduce them to coins. My email is down below. Send it this way, and possibly they will be the next recipient of a package from this coin nerd community. All right. Thank you, everyone. And until the next time, remember to keep checking that change.